Hey, good morning guys here. Farmer here. Just want to do a little video here on the corn. It's Monday the 22nd. This field was not no-tilled. Now, some of you guys are out there um, giving guys a hard time about no-tilling and conventional. Um, here on our farm, and surrounding farms no-till does not work in our ground as far as bushel I know guys that get a certain amount of bushel on no-till and I, what I get on uh, conventional corn if you look at our stand and uh, first of all there's no corn here around me that looks like this there's a bunch of other big farmers around me do not have any corn in the ground because no-till they they want to no-till I can't have that hundred dollar a uh, hundred bushel less yield than they can they farm more ground than I do maybe but uh, no-till has its place and um, just to see the stand out here and uh, uh, there's ground sitting right next to me has no corn in it sitting empty so you know I'm just a young farmer and I don't know nothing but um, I know what the yields were last year on no-till corn and what I got and the healthy and the stand you can check some of the other videos out uh, from last year um, I don't have all the answers but we tried no-till one year on this type of our ground and uh, we had insect pressure bad slugs grounds cold corn sits in the ground for two weeks I mean, this stuff sprouted in three or four days this spring. Uh, weed pressure. And what I'm looking for here is a spot. You can see we have a lot of trash in our ground. Um, this all field slopes all the way down through here. And we had some rains, heavy rains here after this corner planted. But do you see any washouts? So, I know Ted uh, Keller, he has a good no-till program. Um, I mean, it works out there for him. But here, this type of ground, it does not work. Um, so, my opinion on no-till, I mean, it has its places. But even on our steep ground over there, I have no ruts on my fields. Uh, we, we put a lot of uh, pen pack manure on the ground. Here you can see some straw. Just uh, good healthy corn. But um, yeah. So I mean within uh, I would say I'm just going to go with a 100 mile radius from my farm. There's no corn like this. Now they go down to Maryland and stuff like them. They guys have been a little bit earlier ahead of me. Uh, you know, you have your warmer climates and stuff like that. They're going to have uh, they're going to have some corn. They're they're ahead of us probably within a few weeks. So Okay, this all this ground runs down to this here we always seems like uh, we have uh, wet spots and stuff but none here I mean this is our spring yet and we had rains we had floods here but um, loosen that ground up it allowed it to soak in there's no drowned out spots
So I know I know a lot of big farmers out, out west. No-till. Now, no-till to me is not disturbing the ground at all. Turbo tilling, disking, and calling it no-till. That's not no-till, guys. It's when that planter goes and hits the ground and uh, it would be the closest thing I know no-till is uh, Ted Keller's uh, farms. And um, once you disturb a half inch, an inch at the top of soil, to me that's not no-till no more. So you can't call it no-till if you're doing anything on the ground other than taking the planter out there and you have uh, trash rippers on or something just to throw this so you can get the seed in put it in the ground. This corn here was planted at uh, 33,600 population and um, I believe it's all there. <laughs> I mean, it's just, uh, it's an awesome stand, but, um, and no, we had no insect pressure, slugs, last year, guys were replanting left and right around us, uh, you know, so yeah, my opinion on a no-till, it does work in parts of the country, but, you can't tell me uh, that I need a no-till here on my farm, even on our hilly ground. Um, it does not work. Uh, I know soybean farmer. Um, he works the ground down there. They had some washouts. You know, you're going to have that. But, I mean, once in a while, I mean, the guys down south, they'll no-till, and it just doesn't work. But. So. This is my little video on the field here. You can see we have a nice spray program. Everything's clean. This corn was planted April the 18th. And, uh. There's guys that are just putting corn in right now and uh, this last past week and they're calling for rain all week here um yeah so i'm going to continue to make videos on the cornfield here as we grow through it i am going to come back with more end on top of this we are trying to push this field as hard as we can um so we'll see what happens as we grow through the season here over there is more a little bit, the whole field slopes to the center here and uh, the corn is doing really well. Okay guys, I want to go over here and show you our second cutting alfalfa coming along and uh, we'll end this video then. Okay guys, this is second cutting alfalfa coming along here. Uh, real nice thick stand. You can go back and check our videos on when we made this. Uh, we chopped the first cutting, put it in a pile, and uh, it turned out really nice. So yeah, this will be a second cutting alfalfa. It's probably eight inches to 10 inches tall. Looks real healthy here. No fertilizer on this field uh, from first cutting. Last fall we put lime down and some fertilizer, potash, but uh, no manure, just lime. So, looks good. We did uh, make our grass hay here last week. We still have a bunch to make here on the farm plus a bunch of other customers. All right, guys. This is just a little update on the second cutting of alfalfa. Okay, guys, here's a little update on the wheat field. This stuff is up to my waist, above my waist here. 
this is a beardless wheat you can see the flowers on the heads uh, I have to go back and see what population or what we planted this here but we planted it thick I mean this looks really nice as long as we don't get no high winds to lay it over. But there's heads and tillers and everything else way down below there coming. Uh, it's it, it did, we did spray it for the fungus. So, yeah, just a short video here. I'm 6'2", and it's up to over my belly button here. Looks really nice. I don't know if you can see the pollen there on it and stuff. So, all right, guys, leave your comments. Um, I'm not telling anybody what to do as far as no-till, but no-till doesn't work. There's a bunch of ground around me, around 100 acre, or I'm going to say 100 miles radius around me. There is no corn. The, the was planted when we planted so some of my nice big farms that down down along 283 the corn is short but hey you got to do what you got to do for your own farms this is not uh the only way to do it but it has to work for your operation to make your money to pay your bills and this is what works this ground here was worked too where the wheat is so, this is not no-till stand. This was chiseled and worked. And uh, where we do have no-till, wheat is not as nice. But, again, the ground was worked here, chiseled, disked, well, and haired, and planted. So, yeah, leave your comments. You know, I'm, I'm here to learn too, so uh, check out Ted Keller. He has a lot of no-till, a lot of good information on no-till. But, um, and you know, what works there will not work here. And uh, so, and then check out the Soybean Farmer and uh, Jeff Raymond's channel on his crops and stuff. Uh, he had to replant some doing the floods and stuff like that you know ask these guys questions too and uh they have some good answers but i'm not against no tilling but it does not work here on the farm and uh, if anybody wants to push yields against my yields i'm up for it you know i'm, I'm my goal is to push 285 300 bushel here on this farm if the weather works for us so and uh, I like 100 bushel wheat 100, 125 is really nice but 100 bushel wheat this is this is a hundred bushel right here wheat but if you know wind lays it over hail whatever something happens to it then it's not but I can't control weather but I can control how I plant it when I plant it and uh, so, all right, guys, have a great day. Leave your comments, give a thumbs up. Uh, it's appreciated, and uh, we'll try to answer your questions the best I can. But here again, uh, just a little crop update in the corn and the alfalfa. And uh, we have more corn we were going to plant today, but it's a little rainy and cloudy, and I was down in the field, and it's a little wet yet. So, I don't like mudding corn in. Have a great day. Talk to you later.